Morning surfboard fans, boardshop.co.uk, surfboard review time again. A new brand, but a brand we're very excited about, Sea Sticks. There it is. Um, sea Sticks is a British brand, British made for British surfers, British conditions. The uh, head shaper designer, Chris, has worked in all the big factories in the world for Matt Bylos, uh, at the Alatu factory in Spain and various others, worked with Timmy Patterson and stuff. Um, and he's over here now, set up in a factory, and he's churning out some excellent boards. And Sea Sticks is the first brand that we've worked with him on, and we're super stoked with it. There's a few models in the range. This is the hookup. There it is, even got his name on it. Um, classic kind of fish shape, but with a little bit more added volume, slightly ironed out rocker to make it paddle well, carry speed, and have a more forgiving feel. Nice big sweet spot on the board, uh, again for paddling and for when you pop up the board will be stable. This board is for um, someone who is maybe ridden a bigger board and looking to push their surfing on, get their turns working, but still wants that um, reliability of wave catching with a bit of spice of performance thrown in. Um, so let's have a little look. <clears throat> so as you'd imagine, volume through the middle of the board up to the chest area for paddling and carries that volume right up through the rail into the nose. Enough rocker so that you're not going to purl on steeper takeoffs. Um, nice pulled in swallow with a little bit of um, hardening of the rails as you come up to the fin area about here. Uh, and that gives the board a pivoty feel. We've got it set up as a thruster um, to give that adaptability and that control and that kind of uh, sure footed feel when you're surfing it. <coughs> the tail is pulled in enough uh, to allow the board to be manoeuvrable. And you see the rail line is fairly straight so you still get hold and drive um, in better conditions. So it's not like an old retro fish, fish which is dead hard and dead fast in a straight line but harder to get on a rail because it's flat and there's lots of volume. It's like a little bit fine tuned to sit between that retro fish and a more performancey type board. So it's gonna suit anyone progressing off a bigger board, um, high beginner, low intermediate level, but of course, um, anyone who can surf decently, size it down a little bit, and it's a really fun, small to medium wave uh, kind of option. It's gonna work in waves, anything from thigh to a little bit overhead, depending on the waves and your skill level. <coughs> um, as I said, they are generously proportioned. Uh, the rails aren't boxy at all, they're refined enough, but it's got that brilliant blend of a little bit of performance, but the reliability and the paddle power and everything else that you need. They're priced really well as well, and considering they use the guys um, at the factory are only using very, very top end materials, um, glass, resin, etc., etc., and blanks, the boards are going to be durable, uh, going to last, last you know, a decent amount of time. They're not going to pressure mark <coughs> and deteriorate quickly or anything like that. So the pricing is very keen as well to make them competitive, and C Sticks is going to add to the, the range of boards they do from fishes to mid lengths to mids to all sorts of things, so keep an eye on the brand. Um, comes in three sizes at the moment, 6'6", 6'10", 6, 6, 6, uh, Generously volumed, the six, this 6'10", 6, is 45 litres, so it's not overly volumed, but it's got enough to make sure you're gonna catch loads of waves, carry that speed, but still have that potential for performance. Uh, we can do custom orders, you can trade an old board against it, use 0% finance, all the usual stuff, and the C-Sticks hookup, British made, is online right now.